Contrary to common belief, the Sun is not precisely at the center of the Copernican universe, nor do the planets orbit around it on perfect circles. In astronomy, we measure angles, not distances, and what we observe is that planets travel different angles in equal periods of time. Consequently, if the motion were to be circular, it would not be uniform. In order to describe the motion of the planets by maintaining the hypothesis of uniform circular motion, Copernicus moved the Sun slightly from the center and let the planets describe a sort of oval orbit obtained as a combination of two uniform circular motions. The planet uniformly moves on a small circle called epicycle, while the center uniformly moves on a bigger circle called deferent circle centered on the mean sun. While the center of the epicycle completes a counterclockwise orbit around the mean sun, the planet completes two counterclockwise orbits around the center of the epicycle. This produces a novel orbit with the planet slowing down at the aphelion, the farthest point from the real sun, and accelerating when approaching the perihelion, the closest point to the real sun. This is in good agreement with the observations, good but not perfect. It took all Kepler's genius to discover that if we assume that the orbits of the planets are perfect ellipses with the Sun at one of the foci, travelled in such a way that the line joining the Sun with the planet sweeps out equal areas in equal times, then the agreement is perfect. <laughs>